So today I'm going to be talking about another of the conic sections, the ellipse. Now the ellipse isn't nearly as common in, in everyday life as the circle is, but it's super important in nature, in the universe at large, because it's the shape of most orbits of one thing going around another because of their gravitational attraction. For example, the ellipse is the shape of um, the moon's orbit around the Earth or the Earth's orbit around the Sun. So very, very important in physics and astronomy. But today we're going to be focusing on the mathematics of ellipses. What are ellipses? What are their properties? Let's find out. An ellipse is a type of conic section along with the circle, the parabola and the hyperbola. It's the shape you get if you slice through a cone with a plane that's inclined at an angle greater than zero, because that would give you a circle, and less than the angle of the side of the cone, because that would give you either a parabola or a hyperbola. It's also the locus of, or the path traced by, a point that moves so that the sum of its distances from two fixed points known as foci is constant. You can make one by looping a piece of string between two nails to represent the foci, and then tracing out the curve with a pencil that keeps the string stretched tight as it moves around. Of course, if the two foci coincide, then the ellipse degenerates to the circle. The line passing through the foci is called the major axis of the ellipse. Half of this is the semi-major axis, A. The line passing through the centre of the ellipse, the midpoint of the foci, at right angles to the major axis is called the minor axis, half of which is the semi-minor axis, B. The focal radius is a line segment from the focus of an ellipse to a point on the perimeter of the ellipse. The ellipse is symmetric with respect to both its axes and is a closed curve. An ellipse centered at the origin of an xy coordinate system with its major axis along the x-axis is defined by the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. The shape of an ellipse is expressed by a number called the eccentricity e, which is related to a and b by the formula b squared equals a squared times 1 minus e squared. The eccentricity is a positive number less than 1, or 0 in the case of a circle. The greater the eccentricity, the larger the ratio of a to b, and therefore the more elongated the ellipse. The distance between the foci is 2ae. The area enclosed by an ellipse is pi ab. The circumference of an ellipse is 4a large e of small e, where the function large e is the complete elliptical integral of the second kind. An elliptical orbit is the closed path followed by one object that is gravitationally bound to another, for example, by one of the stars in a binary star system, or Earth as it goes around the Sun. That the orbits of the planets are ellipses, not circles, was first established by Johann Kepler based on the careful observations of Tycho Brahe. An oval is a curve that looks like a squashed circle, but in contrast with the ellipse, doesn't have a precise mathematical definition. The word oval comes from the Latin ovus for egg. Unlike ellipses, ovals sometimes have only a single axis of reflection symmetry instead of two. Now let's look at a couple of three-dimensional shapes that are based on the ellipse. An ellipsoid is a quadratic surface that's the 3D analogue of an ellipse. The general equation of an ellipsoid in Cartesian coordinates is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared plus z squared over c squared equals 1, where a, b and c are positive real numbers determining the shape. If two of these numbers are equal, the ellipsoid is a spheroid. If all three are equal, it's a sphere. The intersection of an ellipsoid with a plane is either a single point or an ellipse. 
ellipsoids can also be defined in higher dimensions. A spheroid is a surface in 3D obtained by rotating an ellipse about one of its principal axes. If the ellipse is rotated about its major axis, the surface is called a prolate spheroid, similar to the shape of a rugby ball or American football. If the minor axis is chosen, the surface is called an oblate spheroid, similar to the shape of the Earth. The sphere is a special case of the spheroid in which the generating ellipse is a circle. A spheroid is a special case of an ellipsoid where two of the three major axes are equal. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And why not join me in other videos on this channel to discover more maths. Thank you.